guys i hope you're having a great day so i did a recent poll on my instagram quite a few posts actually asking what kind of videos you would like to see upon my channel and loads of you suggested that you would like to see what is in my drawers <laughs> my current makeup collection. I do redid my makeup though and recently I got rid of a lot of makeup that I have you know tried once maybe or haven't even tried so I gave that to friends and like my family members. So yeah this is what's left so let's take a look. So that's my brushes that I have. Ponches that I'm currently using. So basically in there as you see are the face brushes mostly the shadow brushes the smaller ones the more like this here as you see then the brushes in here this container thing is actually big i use the like carton box to separate into smaller gaps so it's more divided so it doesn't mix up you know so it's kind of in a little bundles the similar ones together if that makes any sense the box in here that you see that says pastries whatever it says flour tortillas you know it's not that's full of makeup actually that i want to do giveaways i think i have this here for a while now and because it's a lockdown at the moment obviously i wouldn't be able to send it so i'm not doing any giveaways whatsoever at the moment but everything in this box that's quite a big box if you guys can see so everything in that box is to be as a take as a giveaways takeaways i don't know what i'm saying been at home too many days so normal now yeah so everything in here is for the giveaways everything you see in the box you guys okay let's start let's start from the side so the top drawer in here we have lipsticks that i use the most so that's why it's a top drawer so my favorite ones as you can tell are the lingerie by nyx these lipsticks last forever on the lips like literally all day long even if you are eating or drinking or anything like this it stays on your lips put on the same with this like push-up ones in general i love nyx lipsticks because it's just so nice the stila one my new favorite yeah these are the ones that i use the most at the moment that's why i put on a top shelf this one is nice as well actually i love this brand as well it's violet cosmetics so the lip is in here called romantic bear and this stays on such a long time these are violet cosmetics lip stains the revolution lip palette and bbk lipsticks the glitter lippy from milano yeah these are the ones i use the most and then a drawer underneath are more lipsticks the ones that i don't use as much so we got some lip pencils that I use a lot. I love this one, by the way. And this orangey one. And this universal, like, by NYX. As you see, I have some MAC products as well, which I don't really use. It's just sitting in here. So basically, I chose not to promote anymore any brands that are not cruelty-free. And as you know, MAC cosmetics are testing on animals. So that's why I don't ever use these in my videos anymore. I still got those because they cost too much to bend. This one is nice. That's a lip topper by Revolution. That's a Huda Beauty set. The lippy the lip pencil and the lip topper really really beautiful color so nude and angelic i'm loving this set then we have like a dupe set from primark which is actually really good and my recent favorite is this jewel cosmetics which i don't know how to pronounce i love this lip balm you see but you can tell how much i use because it's already like squished and there's like tinted lip balm like a lipstick but still lip balm so would you guys be loving those okay let's check what we have in this drawer we got the blushers and the contour palette so these are by l total face contour palette i think you see the contour part is gone because i use it so much it's so good and then these two shades of the blush so universal so good the highlighter part because it's supposed to be highlighter is shit though so i don't use that one and then the contour palette it's all powders by the way contour palette by elf the blush palette by elf this one you've probably seen me using in my tutorials a lot you see i hit the pan i've been loving it so much plus this highlighter shade is so good so these two shades are the ones that i use these are too light for my skin tone urban decays naked i've been using and i'm using this so much and then this one that's by revolution can you tell that i really love this because i hit pan so much this is a mega bronzer in cool you guys so good that's in my handbag always as well that's why it's also you know it doesn't look pretty anymore this starts blush is so perfect color 
ornate such a beautiful color very universal as well this i've been using i've been using a lot as well mostly this color or a mixture of these two powder contour by anastasia i've been loving this for a long time now okay this one is cream contours and concealers in here as you see i love the lotion i actually use these daily and I repurchase them so many times I can't even count. This Revolution Pro Concealer, tiniest bit, covers literally a whole face. Then these are all cream contour palettes by Revolution, Anastasia, and Elf. Uh, recently I used these instead for my contour rather than, you know, these ones. These are more affordable, but it looks amazing as well, and it lasts all day long on my super oily skin. So. All right, so in this drawer, we have everything glitters. Liquid glitter eyeshadows by Revolution, Eye Glisten, the Lottie glitter eyeshadow, the NYX glitter eyeshadow, the pigments, these ones are by Revolution, the NYX glitter and pressed pigment. This one is actually by the Primark, and it's so good and more super affordable. Then some Diamantes for creating a makeup look. Eyeshadow primer, glitter glues, that's all in here. I love these little like boxes. I'm a box hoarder by the way because I keep all the boxes so I can organize my drawers better. In here I have all the eyeshadow palettes from Revolution that I currently use. So that's a palette that I use at the moment. That's why I keep this in here. All my makeup doesn't fit in my drawers. I love this Dana Altobarish palette. It's so underrated, but it's so amazing, you guys. So versatile. It's like 56 colors, if I remember correctly. It's amazing. So many looks you can create using this palette. And it's so good. So pigmented. Like, I have a few videos using this palette. A full review video. You guys can check it out. But yeah, these are palettes that I currently use by Revolution. That's why it's here. So this is my skincare drawer. As you see, I have some Revolution masks. The simple face wipes. I don't really use this often, but they are good because they are biodegradable. This face wash, this is from Superdrug. The best face wash you can get, literally, if you have acne prone skin and oily skin, this is your new friend. You guys check it out. Then, this little white sponge spa science, I did a full video for that. But basically, what it does, it gives like super vibrations as you hear. So that helps any product to get deeper into your skin, therefore making it more effective work better and these little gel eye patches really nice baby need magnetic mask I'm amazing loving this so yeah so this is my like skincare drawer okay what we have in here so that's all the new sponges that i haven't used things like that i love this brand i found this recently like by accident it's called nanshai if i'm pronouncing correctly and their sponges are amazing so that's my backup that's brand new ones real techniques obviously loving this and then in stylish another amazing brand that has really really nice sponges you guys can check it out okay and the last uh, what we have in here oh okay so we have like some makeup bags in here and the uh, fake wigs for creating like halloween looks and all okay let's go to another drawer so in here we have brow stuff my favorite brow products so i really love this nyx pen brow pen as you see i have many of those and then this Revolution Pro. I even have a backup. That's how much I love. It's called Define and Fill Brow Pencil. I use in dark brown mostly. So good. One of my favorites. Most of my products are Revolution, by the way, because it's so affordable. And it's vegan and cruelty-free, so, you know, why not? Um, love this Control Freak Gel by NYX as well. Use it every day. And then we have in here the setting powders. I love all of these, by the way, but I have. These are all that I purchased and repurchased many times. So this is by Revolution Pro. The Conceal and Six loose setting powder. No flashback way, no flashback. This one, the HD loose setting powder by NYX. No flashback once again. That's the same HD press powder. The Hydra Matte translucent setting powder amazing for oily skin but it does have a flashback if you're gonna use a you know flash photography and then this one this one i have usually in my handbag you can tell it's been used and abused i'm hitting a pen as well and is the vacant block translucent powder really really good you guys honestly definitely recommend all of this okay and here we have the primers setting sprays and primer sprays oh, by the way, this is my new brand that i discovered like recently and it's so good the brand is called giovanni eco chick skincare is amazing my oily skin literally loves it is vegan and cruelty free so good been loving this love this matte finish settings for my next the urban decay this leg so in here we have my favorite primers that i use the most now i'm obsessed 
with this one actually i'm using this the most before i was obsessed with these two yeah that's my favorite ones the ones that are good for oily skin okay so visual we have the highlighters so these two are my favorite anastasia glow kits but to be honest now most of the time i am using all this one i did a video recently about this illuminator by revolution just so amazing all the dana altvarish set it's like a highlighting set it's show palette as she calls it i did a separate video on this as well oh, i'm just gonna try and open look at this this middle shade for me is like perfection you can tell i've been using this a lot because i have it in my handbag so the logo is cleaning off i'm gonna try and do this with you guys how amazing is that then this highlighter by Tarte, I've been using and abusing this a lot as well. I hit the pan already, you see? It's not much left, that's how much I love it. This highlighter is amazing by NYX, but it's far too light for me. This one by Revolution, I've been using and abusing so much as well. It's a little bit too light for me at the moment. And then this by Revolution, I think it's one of the best highlighters we ever created. The Reloaded one. I dropped it, so I remolded it because it was all broken. That's why it looks different now, but trust me, it still perfectly works. See that? Beauty. So that's my favorite highlighters at the moment that I have. I have elk highlighters as well in there. Highlighter sheets. Oh my god, I forgot about these. So this drawer is my foundation. So the close in here, we have the ones that I'm currently obsessed and I'm using. I have backup of this one because I'm running out. I have backup. That's a new box, full box, by the way, of this one because I'm running out because I love it so much. These are my favorites at the moment. And those in there are the ones that I don't really use. Or if I do makeup on someone and I need to match up, then I might use these ones. But some testers from over some time. All right, next drawer we got the mascaras and eyeliners these are my favorites the epic eyeliner and the revolution renaissance one so good you guys these are the ones i don't really use but they are there these are mascaras that i currently use that's why they're sitting on this side of the drawer that's like my current favorite the ones that i use the most and then in there some new mascaras as well the mascaras that i don't really use i maybe did a video before like a review video opened once and that's it they're just sitting in there need to get rid of those actually then in here we have another drawer with eyeshadow palettes that i currently use my new favorite it girl oh my god so it's a whole palette yeah ing palette this is the same pretty much the little huda beauty one that i love the warm brown obsessions the nyx ultimate palettes these are so nice too the NYX Contours All Palette as well, so it's a contour and eyeshadow palette. I did a video recently as well, so it's up on my channel if you guys want to check it out. It's such a good palette. Like, I'm literally obsessed. I'm using this so much at the moment. The Urban Decay Shadow Box. Not reaching out to this as much, to be honest. It's just because the pants are so tiny. Look, I'm going to show you. So I feel like my brushes are a bit too big for it. There you go. You see, because the pants are so tiny. But the colors are beautiful. All shimmery though, except for the black, so not ideal if you have muted eyes that's why i don't use it as much but it's never less beautiful so no complaining and then we have a tarte cheek and eye palette this is beautiful palette for traveling as well so good you guys we have a highlighter the blush and the eyeshadows every time when i'm traveling i'm taking this palette with me because it's just so versatile and so tiny so compact to take with you and you literally have everything in there we love you so much a palette i'm actually not reaching out to this palette too much not really a fan of it so i should get rid of this this palette though licoriously amazing to last forever like even on a hooded oily skin <laughs> eyelids it lasts forever and it's so pigmented look how bright it is yeah beautiful palette definitely recommend the Too Faced Skin Peach palette amazing the Naked Classic Moment Eye palette and then the Anastasia palette the Use and Abuse I really love this NYX palette it came in a like a pack it was with mascara and eyeliner I think so there's no really name on this but it's so good so I have this a lot in my makeup bag it's a color so very style and this pressed glitter look at that stays on the eyes forever it doesn't crumble anything then this kiko jelly pop it's like an eyeliner and a shadow in one and then this little wet and wild palette oh these two palettes i love nyx lingerie eyeshadow palette and huge pants as well and then cosmic metallics 
amazing lady. I got some Sashka bracelets in here as well. Next drawer, guys. So in here we have lashes, as you see. So Contrast Beauty, Huda Beauty, Mandy Lashes Forever, Wake Up and Makeup, Ardell Magnetic Access, Eyelore, my favorite brands, literally. All the lashes are in here. I love individual lashes, as you see. Are you magnetic lashes? Because these are magnetic, 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 magnetic. Yeah, that's my favorite. And a lash glue as well. And then in here we have the makeup bags and things like that. And that's it, I think. That's all I have. Oh, so in here I have the makeup brush cleaner thing. I have these papers in here. You may ask why I keep this in here. Because I like to upcycle things. And all this was packaging from like different makeup, but if I'll send the giveaway, I'll wrap it up so it's not gonna get broken or anything. So here we go. This is what's in my makeup drawers. So did you like my little makeup tour? If so, don't forget to press a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. And leave a comment down below. Let me know, do you have any of this makeup that I own? And do you like it? Do you hate it? And what you would like to see next up on my channel? And I shall see you very, very soon. So thanks so much for watching and bye. Have an amazing day, you guys.